Can AI tune and optimize a 9800X3D better than a human? In this video, we are going to find out. My name is Matt, I'm a former rocket scientist, and my goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. In the True or False series, I help you avoid the hype and misinformation by showing you the truth from a source you can trust. It's not rocket science, and as you'll see throughout this series, it really is Lego. In a recent video, I stated that you shouldn't trust AI tools when tuning your PC because they can give you bad advice. I got some pushback in the comments so I thought it would be fun to investigate whether AI, and specifically ChatGPT, can tune and optimize a Ryzen 7 9800X3D better than I can. Let's find out. ChatGPT is an AI chatbot developed by OpenAI that leverages natural language processing to engage in human-like conversations. It's a large language model or neural network trained on a massive amount of online data, allowing it to understand and generate human quality responses. It excels at understanding and responding to human language, making it feel like you're interacting with a person. While it can generate human-like responses, ChatGPT doesn't truly understand the meaning of words or concepts in the way humans do. It relies on patterns and statistical probabilities. Because it relies on patterns, ChatGPT can sometimes produce incorrect or nonsensical information, especially if the training data doesn't adequately cover the specific context of the query. So if the model is trained on misinformation from channels like J's Two Cents and Hardware Unboxed, then don't be surprised if the model gives bad advice. In other words, garbage in equals garbage out. For example, when tech media outlet Tom's Hardware recently ran a story on one of Jay's misinformation videos, they inadvertently helped to train and reinforce ChatGPT with this misinformation. The model will see a consistent pattern from multiple sources and having learned from this misinformation will then push it as truth. In this way, large language models like ChatGPT can become massive misinformation spreaders. To find out if AI can in fact tune and optimize a Ryzen 7 9800X3D better than a human, I compared recommendations from ChatGPT against my AMD Ryzen CPU tuning and optimization guide. For the test system, I used my AMD AM5 platform with the Ryzen 7 9800X3D CPU and ASUS ROG Crosshair X X870E Apex motherboard and a Sapphire Nitro Plus Radeon RX 9070 XT GPU. To establish the AI tweaks, I asked ChatGPT the following questions. One, what should I do to tune and optimize an AMD Ryzen 7 9800X3D? And two, what are the steps I should take to extract maximum gaming performance from a 9800X3D? I then went through the responses and summarized them into discrete actions. I also included the tweaks that I recommend. As you can see, the primary difference is centered around disabling simultaneous multi-threading or SMT, disabling C states and RAM speed. ChatGPT recommended enabling PBO and suggested that adjusting the curve optimizer was optional. I gave it the benefit of the doubt and I applied the max curve offset suggested, which was negative 20 all core. It also recommended testing with Cinebench, which is not a good tool to use to check the stability of your undervolt. With respect to memory overclocking, ChatGPT recommended enabling XMP without any mention of Expo, which is somewhat confusing because XMP is an Intel memory profile. It also suggested setting the RAM frequency to 6000 megatransfers per second, which is fine, but incorrectly stated that Ryzen CPUs benefit from faster memory, which is somewhat misleading. A statement like this could lead someone to select an XMB kit of DDR5-7200, which would lead to lower performance than a standard DDR5-6000 kit, as explained in my What's the Best Memory for AMD AM5 Ryzen CPUs video. What's even more concerning is the advice to match the Infinity Fabric clock speed with the memory clock speed in a one-to-one -one ratio, with a recommendation to run an FCLK of 3000 megahertz for a memory speed of 6000 megatransfers per second. This is truly terrible advice and if followed, will either prevent your system from booting or if it does somehow boot, will instantly crash your system, requiring a CMOS reset. I also ignored the guidance to enable AMD's game mode in Ryzen Master, which I found to be unstable, along with numerous other pointless suggestions. To see how these tweaks impact gaming performance, I decided to test five popular titles. Total War Warhammer 3, Cyberpunk 2077, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and Black Myth Wukong. I started with default motherboard settings to create a baseline, and then I compared it against the system tuned with the ChatGPT tweaks, denoted as AI tuned, and the same system tuned with my recommended tweaks, denoted as BPT tuned. Starting with Total War Warhammer 3, you can see that the tweaks recommended by ChatGPT actually led to a significant decrease in performance, by around 8% for the 1% lows, whereas my tweaks led to a significant increase in 1% lows of around 13%. 
That's a huge 20% difference in performance between the two approaches. If we now look at Cyberpunk 2077, there is a 10% increase in the 1% lows with my tweaks compared with ChatGPT, but at least this time ChatGPT was able to actually improve the performance over the baseline. In Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, there was a similar 10% margin in 1% lows between the two approaches. However, the average performance generated by ChatGPT tweaks was around 2% higher, which appears to be due to the SMT tweak. If I disable SMT, then I'm able to not only recover this performance gap, but exceed it, with an increase in average FPS of around 6%. In Call of Duty Black Ops 6, the tweaks recommended by ChatGPT actually decreased the 1% lows by around 12%, which is definitely not a good result, especially when my tweaks were able to increase performance over the baseline by around 5%. And finally, if we now look at Black Myth Wukong, we see relatively small increase in performance from both approaches, which is not surprising given that this game tends to be heavily GPU bound, even at 1080p with low settings. So if you now look at all of the games that I tested, it's clear that the Blackbird PC tech tweaks led to significant significantly better performance across the board, with the chat GPT tweaks leading to decreases in performance in multiple games. After looking at the results for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, I thought it'd be interesting to see if disabling simultaneous multi-threading or SMT might be a good option for all games. Starting with Total War Warhammer 3, disabling SMT led to a large decrease in performance of around 14%. This was also somewhat true in Call of Duty Black Ops 6, where the 1% lows decreased by around 11%, while the average FPS increased by around 2%. You'll never notice a small increase in average FPS, but you will notice a large decrease in 1% lows since your game will feel less smooth to play. Cyberpunk 2077 shows almost no change with SMT on or off, while Black Myth Wukong shows a similar trend with almost no change. Given these results, I would not recommend disabling SMT globally. If you heavily play a game like Microsoft Flight Simulator that does seem to offer some benefit, then it might be worth disabling it. But then you have to remember to turn it back on for virtually all other games and tasks. So it's not something I would recommend. So can AI tune and optimize a 9800X3D better than human? The answer is a definitive no, it's not even close. Even if you ignore some of the terrible advice that it gives, such as setting your FCLK to 3000, and even if you ignore the variability of answers given only a few days apart, such as the complete disappearance of disabling SMT and C states, the performance is simply not as good as a 9800X3D that was tuned using guidance given in my AMD Ryzen CPU tuning and optimization guide. In fact, in multiple instances, the performance offered by following the guidance given by ChatGPT is significantly lower than simply leaving your 9800X3D at stock conditions. That said, AI is a revolutionary technology and large language models in particular are changing the way we do things, but it's important to understand their limitations. If larger channels like Jay's Two Cents and Hardware Unboxed spread misinformation and that misinformation is further spread by news outlets like Tom's Hardware and Tech Power Up, then this misinformation will be reinforced in the algorithms that are providing you with answers. This is a big problem that will likely get worse before it gets better. So if you do plan to tune and optimize your components, then consider joining the Blackbird Army, follow my guides, and always, always test it for yourself. Final score, human one, AI zero. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching the next video in the Blackbird PC Tech True or False series. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on future episodes as I attempt to guide you on your PC Tech journey. And if you'd like to support the channel further and gain access to some really great perks, please also consider joining our membership program. Bye for now.